just had the strangest dream. I dreamt I was asked to work from home for a while and must remain in my house. I must wash my hands at least once an hour. In fact, it wasn't just me who was off. Everybody was. You had to keep your distance, though. Of course, everybody was handed a laptop, and one of the first things you were asked to do was watch a course on first aid. Oh yeah, and at eight o'clock you must go outside your door and clap the NHS. The highlight of each day was the TV broadcast by the government who would remind you to stay indoors, etc. and wash your hands. You couldn't even see family. The only way to contact people was over the phone. You could go to the shops, but again, keep your distance and keep washing those hands. Hang on, this isn't a dream. It's what's happening right now. Take a seat, sir. Do you know why I've been brought into the station today, sir? Eh, no, no, I don't. What have I done wrong? Can you move a bit closer to the microphone, sir? It's ever so temperamental. That's perfect. Don't move a muscle. Sorry, let me, let me get this straight. You don't know what, what you've done wrong. That's right, Sir Thomas. I'm showing Mr Breaker a number of aerial photos taken by drones yesterday. Do you recognise anybody in the photos? Yeah, I do, yeah. It's me, it's me and Abby, me dog. We were walking in the Peak District. Why did you take these? So, you admit that you and Harry are in the photos? Yeah, we were walking in the Peak District. What's wrong with that? Peak District, sir. Do you live near the Peak District? I don't know, I'm about 20 minutes away, I suppose. You a Formula One driver, sir? AA route mapper. Says 30 minutes. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, what's the bloody difference? Are you familiar with the pandemic, sir? You know, the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, what about it? Well, do you think you've complied fully with government guidelines? Yeah, and I'm always washing my hands and keeping distance from people and getting out for exercise. So you've done nothing wrong then, sir. I'm now showing Mr. Beaker, Mr. Breaker, sorry, a full transcript of the government guidance. Take your time, Mr. Breaker. Just let me know when you've finished reading it. Switching off microphone. Switching on microphone. So, Mr. Breaker, you've now had an opportunity to read the guidance. Did you comply with it fully? Mr. Breaker is moving his head from side to side. I'll take that as a no, Mr. Breaker. I'll tell you what, we're going to let you off this time with a warning, Mr. Breaker. But we will be watching you. Our drones don't sleep. Keep to the government guidelines, Mr. Breaker. Oh, and keep washing those hands. Good morning, Kevin. It's very nice to see you. Although, I must admit, we weren't really expecting you to be in school today. I know your dad claims he's a key worker, but from my understanding, people who work at Sports Direct don't fall into that category. The reason for this is that the virus is spreading very, very quickly. Very quickly indeed. It looks like it's affecting the rich and powerful, as well as normal people like us. Yesterday, you may have heard that the Prince of Wales, who's next in line for the throne, is having to self-isolate. I don't know who it will be next. Maybe even the Prime Minister himself. Imagine that! Boris Johnson struck down with coronavirus. Where would we all be without his dynamic leadership abilities and emergency planning skills? Hi folks, I want to bring you up to speed with something that's happening today, which is that I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus, that's to say a temperature and a, a persistent cough. I was in a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. Some people compare it to seasonal flu. Alas, that is not right we will beat the coronavirus and we will beat it together i want to thank you i want to thank everybody who's working to keep our country going through this epidemic thank you to everybody who's doing what i'm doing i'm self-isolating 
and that's entirely the right thing to do. We're going to win, we're going to beat it, and we're going to beat it together. Off to the allotment again today, partly to pass the time away. We'll sow the seeds and pick the weeds and watch the robin as he feeds. We normally put the world to right, but this pandemic, it's such a blight on everything we hold so dear, filling us full of woe and fear. We cannot thank enough the souls who are fulfilling vital roles. They keep us safe, they keep us sound. How blessed we are that they're around. Once this is over, we hope to see a very different philosophy. Someone on basic pay may have helped to save a life today. So let us say with one accord, they all deserve a big reward. They're the heroes, it is true. They've made great sacrifices for me and you.